The Star Wars trilogy is more than just a series of movies. It's a cultural phenomenon that has captivated generations. In this video, we'll pay tribute to some of the major and minor cast members who have died from the classic original Star Wars trilogy. We'll also celebrate the ones who are still with us. Facts First presents, after these original Star Wars cast deaths, few actors are still alive. Peter Cushing, Grand Moff Tarkin Peter Cushing was an English actor who achieved worldwide fame for his role as Grand Moff Tarkin in Star Wars, the ruthless commander of the Death Star who ordered the destruction of Alderaan. Cushing had a long and distinguished career in horror films, especially with Hammer Productions, where he played iconic characters such as Baron Frankenstein, Dr. Van Helsing, and Sherlock Holmes. He also appeared in two films based on the Doctor Who franchise, playing the Doctor. Cushing died of prostate cancer August 11, 1994, at age 81. His likeness was digitally recreated for 2016's Rogue One, a prequel to Star Wars that featured Tarkin as one of the main antagonists. The filmmakers used archival footage, CGI technology, and actor Guy Henry's performance to bring Cushing back to life on screen. Alec Guinness, Obi-Wan Kenobi Alec Guinness was an English actor who played Obi-Wan, a wise and powerful Jedi Master. Guinness was already a renowned actor before Star Wars, having starred in several films by director David Lean, such as The Bridge on the River Kwai, Lawrence of Arabia, and Dr. Zhivago. Guinness had a complex relationship with his role as Obi-Wan, which brought him worldwide fame, but also typecast him as a science fiction actor. He once described the dialogue as lamentable and admitted that he threw away all his fan mail from Star Wars fans without reading it. Even so, he expressed appreciation for George Lucas's vision and creativity and enjoyed working with co-stars Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford. Guinness died of liver cancer August 5, 2000, at age 86. Phil Brown, Uncle Owen Lars Phil Brown was an American actor who played Uncle Owen Lars, the adoptive uncle of Luke Skywalker, who raised him on Tatooine. Brown had a long and varied career on stage and screen, starting in New York's group theater in the 1930s. He moved to Hollywood and appeared in films such as The Killers and State Fair. Brown was blacklisted in 1952 for his involvement with the Actors Laboratory Theater, a progressive group that was accused of communist sympathies. He relocated to England, where he continued to work as an actor and director for TV and theater, before returning to the U.S. in the 90s, where he attended several Star Wars conventions. He died of pneumonia February 9, 2006, at age 89. Sheila Fraser, Aunt Beru Lars Sheila Fraser was a British actress who played Aunt Beru Lars, the adoptive aunt of Luke Skywalker. For her role, she altered her accent to sound more American. Much like many other cast members of the original Star Wars trilogy, Fraser too had a long and varied career on stage and screen, starting in 1944 at the Comedy Theater in London's West End. She appeared in many plays by renowned playwrights like Tennessee Williams, Harold Pinter, and Alan Ackburn. She also had roles in films like The Witches, Till Death Do Us Part, and Hope and Glory. She was best known, however, for her role as Jean Ashton, the mother of a wartime family in Liverpool, in the TV serial A Family at War, which aired on ITV from 1971 to 72. She died August 29, 2000, at age 79. Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia Carrie Fisher was an iconic American actress and writer who played Princess Leia in both the original Star Wars trilogy and the sequel trilogy. She made her film debut in 1975's Shampoo and went on to appear in other films such as The Blues Brothers, Hannah and Her Sisters, When Harry Met Sally, and The Burbs. She also wrote several semi-autobiographical novels, including Postcards from the Edge, which she later adapted into a screenplay for the movie of the same name starring Meryl Streep. Fisher was always remarkably open and candid about her struggles with bipolar disorder and drug addiction, and often used humor and honesty to raise awareness about mental health issues. She wrote a one-woman play based on her life called Wishful Drinking, which she later turned into a book and a TV special. She also wrote two memoirs, Shockaholic and The Princess Diarist, which revealed her affair with co-star Harrison Ford during the filming of Star Wars. 
Fisher died of cardiac arrest December 27, 2016, at age 60, four days after suffering a medical emergency on a flight from London to L.A. Her mother, Debbie Reynolds, died the next day from a stroke. David Prowse, Darth Vader's body double David Prowse was an English actor, bodybuilder, strongman, and weightlifter who played Darth Vader's body double. He was chosen for the role for his imposing physique of 6'6", and his experience as a former British heavyweight weightlifting champion. He also represented England in the 1962 Commonwealth Games. While he had the looks and build to play Vader, Prowse's West Country accent was deemed unsuitable for the Sith Lord, and his lines were dubbed over by American actor James Earl Jones. Prowse had a diverse and lengthy career on stage and screen, appearing in films like A Clockwork Orange, Up Pompeii, Jabberwocky, and Casino. He also played Frankenstein's monster in three different films. He was best known before playing Lord Vader as the Green Cross Code Man, a superhero-like figure who promoted road safety for children in a series of public information films in the UK from 1975 to 1990. Prowse died November 28, 2020, at age 85 after a short illness. He had been diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2018 and also suffered from arthritis and dementia. Peter Mayhew, Chewbacca Peter Mayhew was a British-American actor who played Chewbacca. Mayhew was born with gigantism, which made him 7 foot 3 inches tall. He worked as a hospital orderly before he was discovered by producer Charles H. Schneer, who cast him as a minotaur, in 1977's Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger. Mayhew was then chosen by George Lucas to play Chewbacca after he stood up to greet him at their first meeting. As Chewie, Mayhew wore a furry costume and mask that covered his entire body and face and based his performance on the movements of bears, monkeys, and gorillas that he studied at the London Zoo. His voice was created by sound designer Ben Burt using recordings of various animals. Mayhew became a fan favorite for his portrayal of Chewbacca, who was known for loyalty, courage, and a sense of humor. He additionally appeared in other films and TV shows like The Muppet Show, Dark Towers, Terror, and Yesterday Was a Lie. Additionally, he wrote two books for children, Growing Up Giant and My Favorite Giant. Mayhew died April 30th, 2019, at age 74, after suffering a heart attack in his home in Texas. Kenny Baker, R2-D2 Kenny Baker was an English actor, comedian, and musician who played R2-D2. He was born with dwarfism, which resulted in him being 3 foot 8. He started his career as a circus and cabaret performer with his friend Jack Purvis, who also appeared in several Star Wars films. He also acted in films like The Elephant Man, Time Bandits, Flash Gordon, Amadeus, and Labyrinth. Baker was chosen by George Lucas after he met him at a casting call for Little People. In his role, he wore a metal costume that fit inside the droid shell. He operated R2-D2's head movements and body gestures using levers and pedals. His voice was created by sound designer Ben Burt using synthesizers and recordings of various machines. Baker died August 13, 2016, at age 81 after a long illness. Paul Grant, Ewok The most recent Star Wars alum to pass away was Paul Grant, a British actor and stuntman who played an Ewok. Like Kenny Baker, Grant was born with dwarfism, which made him 4 feet 4 inches tall. He started his career as a circus performer and later appeared in other films like Labyrinth, Legend, Willow, and Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Grant didn't have any lines playing the Ewok, but he made noises that were later dubbed by sound designer Ben Burt using altered recordings of various animals. He died March 20, 2023 at age 56 after suffering a heart attack outside King's Cross Station in London. Now it's time to hear from you. Who is your favorite cast member of the original Star Wars trilogy? Let us know in the comments section below.